Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. How do you know if hackers have your information? It's easy if you know where to go. Today we're going to talk about Have I Been Pawned, a website that you can go to see if hackers have access to your personal data. We'll take a look at this site and show you what you need to do to make sure hackers don't have your important information. Give me a second here. We'll go ahead and switch over to our desktop. And in that way, we can get going on knowing if you've been pawned or not. Let's take a look. All right, we've got my beautiful desktop up here. Let's click on or Chrome and let's get another window going let's go here we are we've got Google up we're gonna type in have I been pawned so we can get our keyboard to work yeah, I think I got it and there's our Google search have I been pawned and here you are uh, have I been pawned? A website you can go and find out um, if you've been hacked or not. So if you type in an email address, and we'll type in mine, uh, we'll do the business one. Let's see here. And let's click on the pawned button. And after a search, oh, let's see here. Pawned on four breached websites. So then what you could do is click on the breached website and then uh, find out where the data comes from. So it means that our business or my business account has been on several websites that have been breached. Uh, you can also tell it to notify you when you get pawned and you can donate to the cause too. But it explains to you what a breach is, uh, where the website is. So then you can scroll down and see what website has been breached. So it doesn't mean that the integral uh, my business account has been compromised in itself, it lets me know that this email on these websites such as LinkedIn and River City Media Spam List have been compromised by hackers. Uh, so if I notice that, what I would do is that I would make sure that whatever sites that these uh, have been hacked, that if I have a user account on those sites, then I would need to make sure that I've changed the password on those websites. So some of these you can't really control, like the anti-public combo list. Uh, you really can't change anything about that. Or the net prospect. Uh, you really can't change that because usually that just means that they have a copy of your uh, email address. Um, but it also gives you an idea of what has happened to the website where your email has. So let's look at LinkedIn, and as you can see, uh, the compromised data on LinkedIn would have been email addresses and then passwords. And it also tells you when the breach occurred, too. Um, so like on this River City media spam list, it was compromised in 2017, uh, and it tells you what data was compromised um, and what, what information was compromised so it's a good tool that you can look at to find out if your email address is out there in the wild doesn't necessarily mean that uh, hackers have gotten all of your personal information but have I been pawned is a great way to do a search to find out um, where your email addresses have been compromised and it allows, allows you to go in and to take steps and to make sure that if these are with online accounts, then you need to go in and make sure that you change the password for those online accounts. Another email address that we used to use for the business was integralcc at yahoo.com. A lot of you know that Yahoo was breached a few months ago, so we're gonna hit pond and see if we if that information's on there. Now, surprisingly, Yahoo does not pop up because that email address was not in there. But uh, Retina X, uh, which is a data uh, hacking site, or data monitoring site, excuse me, 
uh, email addresses and compromised were uh, exposed in February 2017. So that's just this year, and I'm sure there was no news about that breach. So then again, you can find out if the email, if the account was compromised, meaning for the online account, and then you can see what information was obtained. So then that way I would know if I was using the same password for this Yahoo account as I was for this Retina X, then I would need to go in and at least change my password for my Yahoo account just to make sure that uh, hackers haven't um, gotten hold of your information. Now I have been pawned, or have I been pawned, also has an op opportunity that you can um, get future pawnage occurs emailed to you. So. Um, if an email address that you currently use uh, has been pawned, you'll get an alert uh, letting you know that that email has been compromised on a hacked website. Another thing you can do is you can look and keep, a, keep track of what popular sites have been pawned and it will kind of give you an idea even if your email address, even if your email account hasn't been compromised, you can find out who's been hacked uh, from this site in recent months and just make sure that you go in and change your password on your online account. Now it's critical to understand that with hackers the ideal is to get your email address because a lot of online accounts use email address and password combinations to log into your account. So if hackers get a hold of one online account uh, they can possibly use that email address and password info to log into other online accounts too. Um, so it's always important that you keep uh, separate email addresses uh, and pa or separate passwords for all of your online accounts. So check out Have I Been Pawned. It's a great uh, web-based utility that you can use to find out if your online account has been compromised. So there you have it. And there I am. So as always, uh, if you've got comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. You can find out more great tech tips like this one at our YouTube channel at Integral. Now Integral helps people with uh, all sorts of technology issues. So give us a call if you uh, have any issues with your technology. Uh, we're all over social media too, so check us out. We're on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and um, I'm sure there's another that I forgot, but we're all over. So Google us, check us out, follow us, and uh, find more great tech tips. Um, so as always, take care of yourselves and do many things to make you smile. I hope this tech tip was great for you. And thanks for watching.